So right now I want to pull some cards for world energy because so many people are calling me up and saying, I'm so worried about the state of the world. I'm so worried about this and that, whatever. So I'm just going to pull some cards for the world. Let's see what comes out. And if Elaine, if you're still online and you want to chime in, I would love that. Elaine is one of my very favorite readers. Okay, because I know what the astrology says. And uh, we're in for a little ride the next few months. I got the hangman, okay? Hangman is a card that usually describes um, indecision, like where, you know, the hangman almost looks the same, right side up and upside down. Um, it's the card that we're stuck in between. We're in between state. And that's kind of making sense because we're in between eclipses. So high priestess, to me, that is significant of people who are in the spiritual world and people who are giving spiritual guidance, people who are using divination tools like we do, crystals, tarot, healing modalities, is the high priestess. It's somebody who is very evolved. You can see the symbol on the crown of the head, um, the half moon, really like a goddess. We've got the strength card upside down. This really speaks to me. I know what the next card is going to be. Yep. So this is the Venus energy. Venus is really having a tough time right now in the sky. Um, she's cranky. So what we're seeing here is the strength of the spirituality is weak right now. Even though so many people are awakening to what's good in the world, we're also questioning it. We are questioning our belief systems. We're questioning where we want to go as we move forward. And we're questioning what structures we really believe in. But if you look at the strength card, even in reverse, especially when it's in between the high priestess and the empress, which is the empress is Venus, it's love. High priestess is our higher mind. So we've got to meld these two in order for the strength card to finally be right side up. But when you look at the strength card, which is the lion tamer, two things that you need to do when you read this card. Number one, the infinity symbol over the head means nothing is impossible. And nothing is especially impossible when you have love and the higher mind merging together. That's the symbolization of the star card. So when a lion tamer does his work, he doesn't beat the lion into submission. He doesn't enslave the lion, as we see so much enslavement going on in the universe right now in many different ways. He doesn't enslave the lion. He gains the lion's trust by being authentic, by showing the lion he means him no harm. And that's when we're really in our highest power. The strength card is also the Leo card. The life lesson of Leo is that the love of power cannot be greater than the power of love. And look at how it's in between the heart and the mind. That's the world lesson right now, and that's what we're seeing play out. You can, in simple terms, say that that's dark and light. Cards don't lie. So now let's see what else is going to come in. I'm going to pick three more cards and then go to a soul card. Yeah, so this is everything. Stories being told. Too many choices. We're in chaos. The Eight of Cups is, um, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups is a card where we're being shown so all these choices. We have all these, these ways we can go, all these forks in the road, but what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Well, joy is found when we have the higher mind merging with the heart. And this is the Ten of Cups, which is the most joyful card in the deck. Some people call it the marriage card, the soulmate card. If you looked as a family here, it's about unity. It's about the rainbow. It's about that beautiful high energy of abundance when we all come together in oneness. And it's right underneath that strength card. So you've got the higher mind, the strength of the world challenged, the heart merging these two will give us this, the abundance, the perfect perfect ending, what's over the rainbow. And then the Ace of Wands comes in as the culmination card in this spread. The Ace of Wands in this spread, if you look at it, I'll hold it up. You see all the leaves coming off the wand, the staff, new beginnings. All of this beautiful hand that's holding the wand is the hand of God. And it's saying, you know, if you combine the higher mind, the heart, and strength, then nothing is impossible. The infinity sign, the rainbow, the, f you, the oneness, we make our choices. And now we have this beautiful new beginning from the Ace of Wands, creating new energy, new growth from the hand of God. Beautiful spread, and that's the condition of the world, and that's why we have to go into stillness. We have to send love out to the universe every day. When you go into that stillness and you go into that place in your own soul space, make sure that then you send the energy of that, you know, picture like pixie dust coming out of your heart, sparkling light coming out of your heart, and just send it out to the world. Because as we raise our vibration, 
then we can raise the world's vibration. And that's the battlefield. The battlefield isn't Washington, D.C. It's not China. It's not Ukraine. That's the material world's battlefield. Our battlefield is in our own heart to live the embodiment of spirit and go above the five senses to know that our higher mind and heart can merge to accomplish things that would never be impossible. That we can find joy and abundance within ourselves and bring that out to the world and live the best life we can. And I'm going to close the show on that note. And I hope you'll all tune in next Monday at 7 p.m. And watch all my YouTube videos and tell me what you want to see because I want to help all of you really get into your own soul space and become your full potential like I'm striving to do. Together we can do this. I'm sending you all out love. And if you want a private reading, whether it's astrology or mediumship or you want a card reading, please just PM me, DM me, reach out to me. You can always email me at connect at zancuda.com. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get the notifications of all those Tarot Tuesdays and our astrology videos. Thanks so much. I love you all. Sending up hearts to you. See you next week in the soul space and on YouTube and Facebook. Let me know what you guys want to hear about. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.